Division Dispatches. Hello, Manitoba Trustees. Welcome to another Trustee Education Dispatch. I'm Ted. We're here to oversee students' education, but we as trustees have to learn as well. Upon joining a school board, one of the first things we learn about is the division of work. It can be committee work, the governance work of the board, or the operational work of administration. The responsibilities of these three domains are very different. While they are closely connected and depend upon each other, it's important to remember not to encroach upon each other's areas and to do their work. One way to ensure this doesn't happen is to have clearly defined and easily referred to areas of accountability, or in the case of committees, terms of reference. When it comes to committee work versus that of the board, development of terms of reference can include when an item should go to committee and to which committee the work should be assigned. The terms can also include the committee's goals, deliverables, scope, and jurisdiction. They can note how often committees meet, how information is shared with the board and, if it's an ad hoc committee, the criteria for when the work is considered finished. A second way to maintain lines of responsibility is to clearly articulate or record each group's decision-making authority. The differences between those of the board and senior administration can be clearly laid out in policy. A simple tool such as a decision-making matrix is one option, or your board may consider adding more detail to senior administration job descriptions or to board's governance policies. A third practice to keep from trespassing into another sphere of responsibility is to keep the lines of communication open, both when giving direction but also when reporting. This avoids duplication or issues falling through the cracks. Communication, transparency, and regular reporting are vital to public accountability. So discussion and debate should not only happen at the committee level, such as at the committee of the whole meeting, which the public often does not attend. When debate happens only at the committee level, it can lead to the board becoming a rubber stamp for a simple agreed upon statement set out by the committee. The board table is meant for debate and open discussion. But the opposite can also be true in some circumstances. Discussion of a committee's work or recommendation does not mean having the board rehash all the information or question all the work of smaller committees. This is where keeping that line of communication open is vital. The board should start by clearly articulating all the information needed and the manner in which to report it. Then if the committee has followed its mandate and reported fully, the board can have confidence in the committee's presentation data or its recommended plan of action. If the roles are clear and we help others stay on track, your smooth running board can get a lot done. 